Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Greta and I am so excited to have you here. As you can see, today we are going casual. It does not get more casual than these camo chinos I'm wearing, a white t-shirt and ball cap. I'm definitely a ball cap girl. You probably wouldn't know that by watching my channel because I'm usually more dressed, but it has been a casual week and uh, this is what we're doing. Aside from the fact that the hair needs a ball cap. I t it's just, we have some hair disasters going on here. So it's just, it is what it is. And I'm totally cool with a ball cap. I happen to like wearing a ball cap. So it's a, uh, we're, we're a few weeks late on coloring it. And then to boot, I bought the wrong shampoo, which is not sulfate free. So my hair got stripped of color even faster. And it just kind of, is a little lackluster no matter what it's just lackluster and um, I can't style it like for the life of me so I'm not gonna fight it I'm just wearing a cap because I like wearing ball caps do you wear ball caps comment down below but anyway let's get to this so I have been clearing through all these decans taking the week to kind of trying to like use them up see what I like going through them some I like and actually are full bottle worthy and purchased some full bottles from them. And I have a few more that I haven't tried. I'm gonna try with you. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's just dive right in here because I've jabber jawed enough already. I have a ton of House of Siage. Uh, and again, today I'm wearing Baron. I, this one is like become my ride or die. I just love this light pink. It seems to go with everything. Now with the summer where I'm getting a little more tan, I'm kind of eyeballing to see if it's still the right shade. I might switch to Prince. Um, but I have a boatload of House of Siage of PR and purchases that I did that I'm just going to do one big House of Siage video. Um, I have a bunch to go over with you there of makeup and perfume. So I'm super excited. I have another shipment arriving tomorrow and then I'll do that video. So we'll keep that to the side. Another one, let's see here. Um, Nishane. I have ordered a bunch of Nishane. I'm gonna go through two with you now and then I'm gonna do a Nishane house overview because I now have 14 of them and I feel like the 14 out of the 21, I'm in a good position now to do a house overview. I don't like doing house overviews or if I only like have three or four, like I don't think I'm in a position to be saying what's the best. So um, I got from Royalty Sense. I had from Royalty Sense and Unique You, but they were charging like this insane surcharge to add it to your queue that I was like, forget it. I just got the full bottle on a couple of them. And the exact same day that I, I got these, I received the full bottles. And in any case, I mean, unique you, I took it out of the queue at least. But we have Wulong Cha here. And I'm thrilled I got the full bottle on this one. This one's amazing, especially for the summertime. I wore this yesterday. Yeah, tea, fresh, clean. It is a beautiful unisex, fresh, clean scent, citrusy. Uh, oolong tea, uh, Wulong Cha literally means the black oolong tea. And it has that fresh oolong tea kind of smell to it. Like it hasn't been brewed and it's beautiful, but also the citrusiness that if you're looking for a tea scent, and I might do like a tea scent video. I've, I've seen people comment a bunch that they're looking for a tea scent. Um, and I, I have quite a few, well, I don't know, a handful. I have a handful that I really like because it's not typically something I gravitate to. But this one, I'm super excited to wear this summer. I want to see it on my guy too. Um, I don't know how he'll like it. I know the type of fragrances he likes. I think he's going to like this other one next better. And that is Ege, 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 um, which means in Turkish, the Aegean Sea, which is between Turkey and Greece, which if you know, I mean, I have a lot of friends from Turkey and some friends from Greece that, I mean, they fight over who invented baklava. Was it the Turkish or the Greek? They have 
so much in common when it comes to their food and their culture and their location. So this one I actually wore yesterday also from the full bottle. Oh, look, it's even in a blue. I like that it matches. Um, this one, at first sniff, I was like, whoa. And even looking at the notes, thought, well, that sounds like it may be a little off-putting. But it's surprisingly really good. It has a fresh aquatic. But then what happens is you get this blend of, what is it, mint and basil. And there's like anise and licorice. And it gave this weird kind of accord to me that I was like, what, what, what? I wasn't quite sure. But then it goes through this process. And it really does give this beautiful if you like blue fragrances like these aquatics, but there's an interesting zest to it, zing, freshness. I'm not, I mean, I love like uh, Sambuca. I love a nice Amaro or a digestive. Like I love that kind of stuff to be truthful, but I'm, and I love eating anise and uh, licorice, but I don't typically like it in my fragrances. I don't like the way they kind of combine typically. But I actually like this. And I think my guy is really going to like this. Um, let's see. Perfume Aroma has the cell. Uh, it gets a little seaweedy. Aqua de Sal. Yeah, Aqua de Sal. It can get a little seaweedy like on me. Sometimes it smells more like down by the docks than on the shore. Oh my guy, it smells really good. He doesn't get that seaweediness. So he really likes these. He's a big sailor and loves the water. I think it's just because he's a water sign. He loves anything aquatic, just loves being around the water, that he gravitates to those fragrances too, that I think he's really, oh, he, he's really going to like this. Yeah, he's going to like this one. Um, I think it teeters masculine. I think women that like to kind of dance that line or their chemistry works dancing that line a little bit are gonna like this. If you're a girly girl that follows me, you're not gonna like this. Don't bother. It's not girly girl whatsoever. Um, but if you dance those unisex slightly masculine, you'll enjoy Eggy. But again, I'm gonna do a house overview for Nishane, uh, but I do wanna mention this one too because I absolutely fell in love with this one. It is Ombre Calabria. I did get this one in full bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm wearing this one today and I'm mad in love. Like this is from 2015 and Ani is 2019. And I'm like, where is the love on this one? If Ani is a vanilla that has too much of this herbally medicinal thing, you're going to like this. Or Ani also, I have to be careful because once it's really warm out, Ani doesn't smell very good on me. It gets a little suffocating, I guess. Clawing, medicinal, like it just doesn't do well in heat. It does amazing in cool weather or cold weather. This one is going to be the sibling that is raised by the same family values, same family, but a different personality kind of like. This one is a vanilla also. It's using the jasmine and white florals. Jasmine as a white floral instead of tuberose in Ani. And it doesn't have that ginger in here. Um, it does have some like, I think, um, maybe pink pepper or something in here. There's coriander in here, which gives it a little bit of spice to it. Um, I'm going to say if you're funny about Ani or if you like Vanilla Dior, Vanilla Diorama. I think you're going to really like this one. It, oops, wrong way. It is um, an interesting amber vanilla. It is not, it's got, it kind of got this like summery vibe to it. It's kind of a lighter version. Don't, but don't misinterpret that because this is Nishan A and they're all beasts. They're all going to work for you. I mean, I'm just in love with this amber vanilla base and with the interestingness of the top notes in the middle, but I really get that amber vanilla base. Um, and the coriander and the citruses just seem to work really well in the heat. That's just, it's just heat, heat notes to me. That, man, I'm mad in love with this one. Mad in love. Okay, and, and unisex. 
totally unisex. I've only hear, heard the men talk about this one. Totally unisex. I love it. Okay, so Lux SB now has Memo Paris added to them, which makes me super happy. So I got Sintra, Tamarindo, and African Leather. Two total classics. Uh, Sintra, Mad in Love With. I have a full bottle coming. Again, that order is delayed, but I have this to carry me over and this to keep in my bag because, um, you know, I think I like this a little better than Love Don't Be Shy. Although I'm not going to lie, it is like 90, 95% similar. It is so similar, like so similar. There's a lot of really good orange blossom, vanilla, marshmallow fragrances out there. Um, I think I did a video on that a year ago. I might update that since I've been exposed to a lot more now. But I think Sintra is a little smoother to me. I don't know. Could be in my head. I don't know. Because I really do like Love Don't Be Shy. It's a little fresher, but it's like such a minute difference. A little fresher, a little smoother in the marshmallow, a little bit more gourmand. Oh, I really like Sintra. I like Sintra better, I gotta admit. Full bottle, full bottle world, worthy and coming. Um, African leather, I really like on men. It's too masculine for me. But it is a beautiful, and I think maybe even a little bit more cooler weather. Remind myself, I have a sip. Oh man, that's good. Oh, I haven't smelled you in a while. Okay, I forgot how good African leather is. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so spices and fresh and masculine, like, oh, he's out of the shower. He's all dappered and done up, and he smells sharp. He is dressed. He is ready for date night. There's a spiciness, a little bit of leather, masculinity. Okay, I didn't, wow, okay. It's been a while since I smelled this and I don't remember it being this good. Holy cow. This is like amazing. Yeah, this is a great masculine fragrance. Um, I think a girl could layer this with something a little feminine and actually make this work. It opens sweet enough. Holy cow, this is good. But I know it dries down to something a little drier and more masculine leather spice. Um, very dark and rich. This opening is to die for. Yeah, this has oud in it too, which is why as it dries down, it gets this richer and richer, darker kind of feel to it. But all these like cardamom and saffron and... Ooh just spices. I just get a dry spice market kind of feel here. But it definitely is is messing with man, this is this is sexy on a man. Gotta admit, very sexy. I like that one. But Lux SB, uh, I've done videos on the subscription service. I'll put a link down below. Uh, I do believe I have like a, a discount code for you that I think still works. I'm loving this one. I get um I get three a month. And I'm digging it. I'm a little behind. I'm telling you guys about some of them or even trying them because I have so many subscriptions and I'm, I'm behind. But the Memo Paris that I got, really loving. Um, last month I got some, but I already own them. Like I got some Menceras and some Montals, like Roses Musk, um, Roses Vini. Really, really, really love them. If you haven't tried Mancera Montal, that's also another way that you can try them. And if you're trying to cut back on your budget, I think these kind of tubes are a great way. I know a lot of people are DMing me. They're trying to, to kind of reel in their budget a little bit just with the economy changes. I'm here for you. I'm here. Um, you know, these are a month supply and these are actually bigger. But as a month supply, and when you have a few of them, the reality is you're not finishing these bottles. And I know full-size bottles sometimes are more are cheaper. Um, and they look better. We know. I know. But I know you have plenty on your shelf kind of talking to myself here too, but I know you have plenty for display. But when it comes to trying these brands, getting your nose in them, having a decent supply of it, you're not, you're going to take months to get you're going to take months to get through this because I know you, you're rotating fragrances, you own more than one. If you own one, yeah, it's a month supply. But you're getting several of them. So let's just, you know, a moment of clarity here. Yeah, peace. Okay. 
Moving on. Guys, if you like this, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see more of my videos, especially if you have similar tastes to me or if you like my style or if you just like the perfumes that I try and tell you about. Mwah. Here you are. Oh, this beloved one. Okay, I purchased this one yesterday. Uh, thank you, Kelly at Life of Fragrances. She's been amazing at sharing this. Cam over at Carolina Fragrances did his second launch of Southern Peach Tea. I saw the notes and I was all about it. Uh, I tried his previous one to Six Elixir, which I have that. Even better now that it's been on my shelf. Love that one. Uh, this one, I like even more though. I mean, I, I have to be honest, I like this way more. I think for women, they're going to like this one a lot more. It is Southern Peach Tea. It has, um, it opens with this amazing peach and osmanthus, which is an apricot and it has some strawberries in it. It has the tea, a dash of cardamom. And that tea and cardamom makes it great for men. Keeps it from just being this sweet, fruity fragrance for girls. It gives it this facet to it that helps balance it of masculine and masculine feminine. But man, this is like, I had sprayed my right arm down with this one on the right and thought, okay, I'm gonna keep like the left arm clean slakes. I know I wanna film. And I put this only on the back of my hand so that I could have my nail girl smell it. And driving home an hour later, all I could smell was the peach tea. Even though I had sprayed this entire arm with the niche on it, that tells you how beastly this is. It is potent and projects that first two hours. It's calmed down now. It's a little more like not taking over everything around me, but I love it. It is a beautiful, fresh peach tea. Like it literally smells like that, like beautiful, fresh fruits though, and iced tea kind of smell. I, I absolutely love it. He nailed it. I placed an order last night for the 50 ml and he is sending out the next shipment on May 16th. Um, sunset hour. Also got a sample of the Goldfield and Bank Sunset Hour. Um, Stacy sent me this. Thank you, Stacy. And if you like Sunset Hour, you're going to love the Southern Peach Tea. If you're a guy and you thought Sunset Hour was too feminine maybe for you or on your skin, try the, su try the Southern Peach Tea. I think you're going to really like this because that dash of cardamom and the dryness of those tea leaves in there really help balance it a little bit more. Um, I really like the Sunset Hour. I think I'm happy with she sent me like a generous 3 mLs probably here. And just like that, as soon as I finished filming, I dropped the decant on the ground. And yes, I rolled around on the floor, soaking up every bit I could. And I smelled divine all night long. This is perfect for me. This is beautiful. This reminds me of happy hour on the beach. I do live in San Diego, which is a beautiful surf kind of town. Probably why I love baseball caps too and flip flops. I mean, they're amazed slides, but they're still flip flops. This one is some more like a boozier, creamier vanilla where this is more of a vibrant peach fruit is the sweetness. I think you're gonna really like this one. One that I was trying to use up and fell in love while trying to do that is by Emmaze. I've had this little like mini set and some of them I didn't like as much, but this one, Un Jardin Sur la Nil. Beautiful, beautiful, fresh, aquatic. I love in the morning when I get out of the shower. I tend to like these fresh scents the first half of the day and then I'll switch into other stuff. But I love that fresh feeling, especially in the summer. I, I switched to this just randomly and I'm like, holy cow, I love that one. Used it up and I'm contemplating a bottle because it's that good. Especially for men, but I really find this one unisex refreshing and I really get that beachy Mediterranean kind of vibe that I happen to really like. Aqua Alps makes two, three, three, four. I got a bunch of these from Unique U. This was the standout to me. I got a lot of lemon. Okay, now it's starting to dry down a little bit. 
very citrusy open and then it goes from like this lemon to vanilla with a hint of lavender in there that gives it this smooth kind of transition from that citrus, lavender, vanilla. And then as it dries, it gets a little amberier. But it opens with this incredible burst of citrus, which I find so refreshing. Really yummy. You know, this reminds me of actually Zerjoff, Zerjoff Decus a little bit because Zerjoff Decus has that like citrus and lemon and then that vanilla that blends with it gives it this cakey kind of feel that this kind of reminds me of that maybe even a little less complicated I guess is the word and really leaves it at this like citrus lemon vanilla amber with some lavender I really like this one I, I do have a decent amount here but I've got this marked pegged as my favorite from the brand one that I had sent to me from two different people over the past year that I, I find I tried it again and I'm just not feeling it. Like I, I'm trying to feel the love because, you know, people share with me and I love it. And they're like, I really like this. You got to try this. You got to try this. But I've never really fallen in love with a Joe Malone fragrance. I've used up, I went through a ton of decants of Joe Malone just to like try them again. And some were okay, but I just, I feel like they're not worth the money. Them and Byredo, like... They're companies that I would buy the dupe. I'd endorse the dupe over them because they don't last and they're really expensive. But this one is Murantanka and I'm not feeling that here. Like I just, I tried so many times this week. I can't even tell you. And I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get much from it. Um, I have two of these that were sent to me and I'm trying to use them and I'm just not feeling it. I don't even get the name in there. Like. It vanishes on me like in a half hour and I'm like, I, I don't, I don't understand the allure, but you know, there's a lot of love for it. Just not from me. Okay. One, I totally fell in love with. This was sent to me by uh, Dor, Dor Perfumes. They're in LA, I think, or are they in Northern California? They're in California here. They sent me this amazing little discovery kit here. Um, along with Rirana, which I still need to go through all the Rirana fragrances with you too. I'll do a little house overview on that. But the one that stuck out here that I absolutely fell in love with was Memoirs Humanista. Oh my goodness. Humani. Oh, Humanitas. Humanitas, not Humanista. Sorry, my bad. I like used it all, unfortunately. Holy cow. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I like plowed through this because I absolutely fell, fell mad in love with this. Fruity. Okay. Um, super fruity with these like fleshy stone fruits is what I get. Like your peach and your nectarine, maybe even passion fruit. Super fruity opening. Totally love those kind of fruits. You know this. I think my girly girls are going to absolutely love this one. Uh, it dries down and you get more of that base of that like sandalwood, ambery, musk kind of base comes in here. If you like some of the Tiziana Terenzi's, you're going to love this one. Um, I'm thinking like Cassiopeia or Kirka or uh, Tabit. If you like Tabit, like any of those, you're going to really like this one. There's this tropical kind of flair to it. This is full bottle worthy for sure. Humanitas Memoirs London. Also got a whole bunch of For the Scent of Me. I'm going to be doing a live with Brian and the brand For the Scent of Me and go through a bunch. But another standout is their new one, Oud Cafe. If you like your coffee fragrances, you're going to love this one. This was a standout also. I like a little bit of coffee in there. I mean, I'm a, I'm a total coffee whore. I mean, have you have you seen me like with my coffee I have a whole coffee station in my house and I have no I, I think I have at least 10 coffee makers in the house like god forbid the power goes out god forbid there's no gas god forbid there's no fire like I have so many ways to make coffee in this house it's not even funny it, it's actually like it's a little cuckoo I'll admit it's a little cuckoo my obsession with coffee and my fear of ever running out of coffee like but yeah I know every survival way to make coffee it's not funny Take me camping. I'm your friend. You don't know it, but I'm your friend. See what wearing a baseball cap does? It brings out the camping girl in me. Yeah, totally. It's like fresh brewed coffee. 
but it's not this like rudimentary just coffee. It is the coffee beans, a little bit of smell of fresh brewed coffee, and then you have that like oody, almost leathery oud base to it. Um, the men are gonna love this one, and the women that love their coffee fragrances. If you like like Teodora Calatin, Cal Calatini's coffee, coffee addict, you're gonna like this one. It's different, but similar. It's along those lines that you're gonna really like this one. If you're thinking like coffee and black opium, nope, nope, totally different world. This is more like coffee addict, Calatini's. Yeah, I really like this one. It's a fresh coffee fragrance that, who doesn't like the smell of coffee? Coffee is very stimulating to your brain. It actually has an effect on you. Fragrances, smells like lavender, everyone knows calms them. Coffee invigorates you and makes you more productive. Just a little tidbit. Another standout, really digging that one. And again, keep an eye out. We're going to do a live with them. Um, and I will have a live with Argos for their two new drops. We'll be doing that with Brian. That's in like two weeks or something. It's on a Friday. Friday? Yeah, it's on a Friday night. So I'm hoping that's the time you guys can do. And we'll talk about their two new launches or their, their next launch. And I'll have the bottle by then. We can, we can uh, talk about what we think. There's one more that I haven't tried yet that I'm dying to try. Ha! Gravitas. Dan, Mr. Smelly, has his Bon Vivar and Gravitas that I keep hearing about. And they've always kind of been curious. You know, like, I know I'm, you know, I'm a women's channel. But if you haven't noticed, the last several months, I have really embraced the men's fragrances for the men that follow me. And just because they're not for me doesn't mean I don't have an opinion on them. So as when I first started this channel, I was kind of like, you know, too masculine and just wrote it off. Where now I'm like, well, hold up. Just because it's not for me doesn't mean I can't have an opinion on it or describe it, right? So I'm really curious about this one. Had not smelled it yet. I know he's very old school. So I'm expecting a classic old school kind of fragrance, which I happen to also really, you know, that old school in me really enjoys Oh yeah, see, I'm getting that old school barbershop feel, which I love. I've told you how sexy I think like shaving is for a man, right? Okay, we went from shaving to instantly this aromatic kind of smell. Oh, this is, I, I could totally see how Dan came up with this. He's, he's totally the old school guy. I like this. This smells sexy. This is, um... This is, this is, you know what this gives me? Like those warm, fuzzy vibes of that, like, I don't know, maybe the girls will understand what I'm saying here, but you know when you're like, you get the warm fuzzies just watching your guy in the bathroom getting ready and shaving and doing his little grooming thing and you just, or, or maybe it was your dad growing up. Like I even have cool memories of watching my dad, like, you know, do his thing and put a little splash on and smell good and like, you know, dad smells amazing, he's my hero, that kind of thing. I get that kind of feeling from this, that like, you're so cool, you're my hero, you look so good, you smell so good. This is not like sexy time kind of fragrance. This is, you're my hero going to conquer the world right now. That's what this fragrance says to me. Every day I'm so proud of you, kind of fragrance. I like it, I like this a lot, Dan, good job. I'm gonna have my guy wear this and see what happens. And I'm also doing a live with Tyler. Tyler, um, Simply Fragrances sent me a bunch. I sent him a bunch and we'll go through some more. He's like a total Creed dude. He sent me a bunch of Creeds and you know, I'm a Raja girl. I sent him some Rajas. Um, and I think I sent him Batman too. I can't really remember what I sent him, but. Aromatic, fresh, creamy. I like this. I really like this, Dan. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Tyler, for sending me this because I, I was always curious. You know, I've done some lives with Dan. I really like Dan. I think he's a great guy. Um, I, I watch his lives a lot. Keep going back to it. That's a good sign, Dan. Anyway, that was kind of going through a bunch of these, just seeing, sniffing, some of them for the first time, some I already bought a bottle just sharing with you and um, I've got so much catching up to do and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.